Hi, in this video of this video series, we are going to start a new version of CSS that is CSS3. Let me clear one thing before getting started with CSS3 that syntactically and implementation wise CSS3 will remain same as we were learning or we were implementing CSS so far means the way we write the syntax of CSS and the way we implement the CSS in HTML will remain same it's just like the new features of CSS3 will make your web page more interactive all right so let's see what all new features are available here in the CSS3 that is the rounded corners rounded corner means like so far we were talking about the borders the margins dimensions of CSS here as you can see it, it is not a rounded corner it's strictly rectangular in shape so if you want in CSS3 you can make the rounded corners as well similarly border images so far the borders were like this straight lines with some different kind of thickness or maybe dotted dashed or something but here in CSS3 you can just take an image and you can make that image as the border the very next topic is multiple background when I say multiple background that means in a single web background you can apply multiple images at a time as a background that will definitely will make your web page more beautiful practically we will see how to implement these things separately gradient colors gradient colors is basically a very new form of making the color where you can use multiple colors in a shaded format like you can start with the violet then indigo then blue and so on right so you can just use the different colors in the shaded manner maybe the linear gradient or maybe the radial gradient when you are working with something circular in shape shadowing shadowing is something where you can take any particular element like image or text or heading and you can make the shadow out of it along with that we will see how to do the 2d and 3d transformations using css3 options and the animations where you can move the particular objects as per your requirement to make the look of animations all right so in the coming videos one by one we are going to discuss these topics so that is all for the introduction of css3